mic is working? Yes. Yeah, I unmuted it. Oh. Yeah, I unmuted it. Yeah, sound. Yeah, we're good. It's working. Mic coming through. Okay, cool. Welcome back, then. Let's do it. So, you guys uh, exited the vault with stuff. Well, you exited the vault three six nine first. Oh, okay. You met Blue, the Securitron that was uh, that carried uh, Benji. You were met by three seventy vault dwellers <clears> in, <throat> in uh, shall we say, pure pure states, untouched, fresh faced babies, who escorted you back to Vault three seventy to help you out. Those of you who needed it went through the uh, decontamination chamber, got rid of your radiation. And, I, and again, you guys just got to trust me. And I know you did. Because I was like, hey, you're really fucked. You guys have horrible radiation poisoning. And you're like, shit, all that. But I wasn't going to keep that on for too long. Shit, dog. Um, shit, dog. You guys, get, you guys got hooked up with equipment, weapons and armor. And you guys are ready to go. So let's talk about what you guys... Well, let's do it this way. You guys uh, rest for the evening? Yeah. I mean, well, sorry. Yeah, it's it's early, early morning, like midnight when you get back. I forgot to even mention the fact that the vault girls that you saw there obviously looked tired, mm -hmm. and they were more of a greeting crew, getting ready to help you out do things like that. Um, but then they all, many of them went off to sleep right away. Yeah. You guys were tended to, you went to sleep, and then the next morning you were taken to their um, their armory yeah. to, to, to get your weapons and equipment. Yeah, I know. Father, um, it just looked very strange. So at this point you guys are... Let me ask you this, uh, without you, uh, some things we like to role play, some, th some things we don't waste time on, right? So, all four of you. Hi. Hi. Just, just, Dar's just, would you say Dar is the most easily distracted human you've ever met? No, that would be Matt. Marissa. That would be Matt first, and then you? Marissa's, my sister is really easily distracted, especially during games. Yes. Yeah. By me. That's why it was cool that she played a kinder, because then she could legitimately just yep. be distracted by anything. Also, I have two, I have two modes. I'm easily distracted, or I'm laser focused, and you will have to jump in front of me to get yeah, my attention. Yeah, but you only get laser focused on things that I don't want you laser focused on. It's true. <laughs> <clears throat> you guys are talking about your sex life, right? Yeah, that's correct. Got it. You, uh... I'm laser focused on that. We don't... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why, there you go. Why did, he, why did his eyes focus off into the distance and then suddenly just pull back? Because he went to his happy place. He went to his happy place, which I'm glad that your happy place involves me. I'm really glad. Uh, you guys, without, without role playing this, do you guys, and I'm not making assumptions either, that's why I'm asking. Are you guys all in agreement as you wake up the next morning, have breakfast, you four sitting at a table in their mess, maybe chatting things through? Are you guys all in agreement that you're leaving right away to head after the folk? Or, or do you My do some of you not give a shit about those family members? Obviously, there's no reason not to care about them for any of you, I think. Other than if you don't care about life at all at the moment. I don't know how you guys are feeling. My, my motivation is uh, wife and daughter. So, so with that, yeah, without role 100%. playing it, because again, we don't have to role play every 100%. single damn thing. Your motivation is about your wife and daughter. 100%. You want to go right away. Yep. Okay. Uh, Lennon's not going to be talking with them. He doesn't show up to the mess hall. Okay. But he'll meet them outside, assuming they come out at some point. Okay. Uh, I think there's some logistics we need to work through, but yeah, we're going to go check them out. You three would have spoken about that at the table. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. I just mean like even more than that. Where are we going to put, you know, 40, 50 people? Eventually, right. Yeah. Yeah. A lot more to talk about, but you want to go get them, yeah? So, and don't, and don't, and don't forget that uh, Mother did confirm that Doris, at least, is was one of those kidnapped. Mm -hmm. You know, you know your mom and dad are both alive. Before this, you don't know if they got kidnapped or not. You didn't ask. Mm -hmm. uh, there was enough time. You yeah. know, other stuff was going on. Your mother, father, and, and three siblings. Two, you know, two siblings. Wasn't it? Two brothers. Two brothers, one sister. Two brothers, no sisters. Two brothers, no sisters. Look at that. You guys pay attention. Two brothers, no sisters. You don't know if they were taken, and you don't know about your family. Then your I parents have no weren't family. around. <clears throat> your parents weren't around. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean you didn't have friends. In fact, you do recall. <laughs> yeah, what about any friends? You, no, no, Jenny's sorry. Character. You do. In the dream that's world, everybody disliked me. In the you real do, world, I have no friends. You do recall actually that you and Olive <laughs> were very good friends in real life. And one thing you guys didn't ask about is Olive. Where is Olive? What was she? Was she even ever in the sim with you? That's the question. Or well, was she an NPC well, essentially? Right. By the time we have time to talk about her. No, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I was you. Ready. I was like, I'm gonna yeah, die. Yeah, he's 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 dealing with existential crises. You guys are near death. My only point is, and I'm not, I'm not yeah. belittling it. I'm saying that it wasn't asked, and it wasn't answered. So you don't know if Olive was, A, taken, killed, Looks ever nice. real, anything, right? So there you go. She's still in the tank. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and you know why I did that, right? Was so that Ginny, whenever she's ready to come back, she can do whatever the hell she wants. Hi, guys. Yeah. Um, and then we will... Fa we, father had already said that, that he real? was going to send someone over to look and, and see what's going on with the powerful mother and try to repair, right? Yeah, that's going to take some time. And, oh, you're just saying as long as that's taken care of? Yeah. Well, He's, I'm just saying if, if then that gives us a realistic place to take everybody back to. Conceivably. Um, conceivably. Also, keep in mind that, you know, well, we don't have to save anyone. 
as as you look through the vault here, you no can tell that there's there. still room in the vault too. These vaults well, are that's always what I was say. in this vault. I mean, yeah. not, you're making assumptions if you're like we're gonna bring him back. You, I don't know if you want to ask him or not. But my point being, no, vaults, no, no, no. vaults were made to house more than the people that were in them because of ex possible expansion. Many, most vaults. Some vaults were specifically not made for mm -hmm. that. Other stuff like that. Well, yeah. what I just meant was, if our vault is, seems to be getting repaired, then that's going to be the obvious course of action to bring everybody back to. Yeah, but, but if that's not, a, sorry, but we don't know. Obviously. Yes. So I can answer what you're trying to ask. Is that he said he was going to have someone go look to see if Mother's AI was salvageable, if it was even there. Mm -hmm. No mention of repairing anything just yet. Oh, I see. Yeah. Rashawn, wasn't there a vault where they overpopulated it on purpose and to see what happened? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And there was that one like star. It was it was all men like... and one women. There was the reverse as well. All uh -huh. women, one man. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Wait, what? A vault. So they, they they have these things. This is cool for people to know too. And Amanda doesn't know a lot of Fallout lore because even though I gave her Fallout Four to play, she never played it. It hurts my head. You um, they had these things called control vaults, mm -hmm. which were uh, ostensibly everyone would go in there and live there and be happy like a regular vault. But thirty four. We should say most of the vaults most were of the control vaults. vaults. Right? No, most were no, experiments. They were all no, most most were almost all experiments. Yeah. That's a control vault. That's what I mean. No, no, controls are the ones that are actual the way they're supposed to be intended. Yeah, like control is always here. a normal population. Yeah. That's control vault. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there's four like you're a, saying that's just so like fine. a control group in an experiment. Yeah, like in, in an experiment you have the control group which is given placebo drugs yeah. and then all the other ones are given different amounts of drugs. I have never known what control control group meant from I thought it was the opposite of its true meaning my entire life. Oh. Okay. Okay. So with that said, all the experimental vaults then, they did stuff like that too. So the vast majority of vaults had there crazy was one, shit going on. There was so one, one vault that was, one that was led by an anti-authority, like, I hate I hate the government, you know, yeah. rules are only meant to, uh, to and, and like, hated uh, rich people. So it, was he was, it was Will? Yeah, basically Will was the overseer. Um, uh, yeah, and 99 men and one woman, and then it was 99 women and one man, right? There's one that's just a bunch <clears> of people in a panther. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> I mean, there was some. Other <laughs> I'm ones. sorry. What? How do you interact with this? Yeah. In the video games, yeah. you so you most of you typically don't. Don't. most of them are, are destroyed or most of them or... You, you just hear about them yeah. through data that you like tapes and yeah. notes and things that you find. A few of them you go into Explore. well after they've yeah. been emptied. There's no one left alive, right? Uh, then there's the Gary Vault, Gary. where everyone was named Gary. They were all the clones. clones. That's unsettling. Everyone in the vault was a clone of one guy. Yeah, and they were and, all named Gary, and, and they, they were all insane. it degraded over time. Yeah, they yeah they they went crazy. Um, there's also one where guys was there with dolls. Uh, one guy yeah, was trapped in there with a uh, crate of puppets. There's a crate of vault puppets. 12. No, yeah. no, Vault 12 was the Necropolis. That one was Vault... Pretty cool, huh? I forget which one. No, it was, but, but yeah. it's horrible. And then there was the yeah. vault to make the super mutant. So, so what was your experience Remember, this is what the government did. This vision, this vision It wasn't the government. Thing. It was Vault 10, which was not the government. No? Uh, uh, which was probably not the government. Rob. The idea of Vault Tech but being were, a shell for the... Uh, Enclave. Uh, for the enclave is, is but they were, a pretty good legitimacy. They were in, oh, yeah, yeah. in bed with it. like their whole their main purpose was <laughs> to do the experiments for the enclave. But then they um the uh yeah outwards is also a good way to make money at the but same time. That's that's so that's so fantasy based. We don't have any real world examples of the government working with or being controlled by corporations, Never. right? Never. Like, we don't have it's not like yeah. It's not like we would appoint the leader of the Secretary of Defense as a... We wouldn't elect the leader of the free world as a, to, as a corporate shill, right? <laughs> or someone who's just out for money, out. right? All right, so uh, you guys... Um, this is fantasy, not real. <laughs> you, guys, you guys meet the next morning out front. You guys are all equipped now, and you're, you're heading out. Yeah? I mean, that's why... Yeah. If you want, you can stop yeah. me and say I wanted to do this so or that. So uh, uh, they, they finish up with breakfast, they head out, and Lennon is just waiting for them at the entrance. I go back in the vault and take it over at that point. Uh, have fun. Thanks for giving us your weapons. <laughs> no, I'm gonna <laughs> work on blue, and check her up, do some repairs on. Yeah, her. do some, some and yeah. it's just um, some aesthetic damage, uh, no real core parts damage, anything like that. But you can still repair her up mm -hmm. a little bit with parts damage or two. Uh, no check involved because they'll even assist you. Oh, sweet. Let's go ahead and get some some descriptions now that you guys look how you wanted to look. Uh, during the break, we equipped you all mm -hmm. with these new fresh six level characters you've made. How does Benjamin Morris look like at the moment? Uh, still wearing his vault Doctor. suit. Benjamin Dr. Morris. Benjamin Thank Morris. You. He's wearing He's his vault suit? Yes. Still. Uh, he's wearing his vault suit still, but he's all decked out in uh, vault tech style armor. Like a, a lighter armor? Yes. Mid, mid <clears throat> armor over it? Okay. So, so I'm thinking like gray Guns armor. Guns on your back or what? Gray armor with a vault tech logo and just a yellow stripe yep. on the shoulder pad. Yep. Uh, armed with a now with a plasma uh, pistol on his hip and a laser 
musket strapped on his back. Okay, and uh, a little bit of rations. Uh, mm-hmm. In his backpack. And a bad wolf. Yeah. Do you, uh, what's his hair look like? You have the opportunity to get a cut to. He's actually clean shaven. Clean shaven? Bald. Bald? Yeah. Like, bicked or just? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh wow. Okay, Hi. totally bald. Like me. All right. Yeah, like he's, he's a cue ball. All right. And then Dylan? Uh, Dylan looks pretty much the same. Except she doesn't have a musket. Because he's bald. Which? Uh, <laughs> You're wearing uh, right armor. Just yep. we'll find you one. Yeah. Don't worry. Right armor. We'll find you. Did uh, you have right armor before? Yeah. No, you had guard armor. Well, I had right armor at one point. At the very towards the very yeah. end. Okay. But this um, one's Vault Tech branded. Yeah. Right. This one's branded. Um, she's got a sledgehammer across her back and a machete at her hip, and she's basically just like. I dig it. Okay. And she's and your build is the same. Physical build. Mm-hmm. Is your physical build the same? Uh, he's a little leaner. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But he's also he's also wearing glasses now. He's also keep in mind too that you guys might still look a little gaunt. Yeah. Right. I mean, even though you were decontaminated, you were fucking radi- irradiated. Fed from a tube for months. Yeah. yeah. Linen and a radiated tube of water for months. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Linen, of course, the the once handsome. Uh, yeah. Immaculate. <laughs> wanderer. Jesus. I mean, you look like a Hispanic, you know, greaser, right? Before just hair to the side. Right, like swab, you know, swab hair to the side, mm-hmm. clean shaven, suavemente. piercing eyes, suavemente. Actually, yeah, yeah so. very much. But, but not, not so much now. No, not so much now. Yeah, his his hair is is lank and coming out in. in uh, Why would you bumps. ever say Steve bumps. Buscemi when we're talking about attractive people? <laughs> no, I was talking about now. Oh, now yeah. Steve Buscemi. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> now he looks like Steve Buscemi. Oh, that's all you need to say at that point. I mean, love you, love you, Steve, but you know, <laughs> Get it he's together, not getting man. roles because of his looks. Get it together. Um, no, he is getting roles. Oh, I guess that's the yeah. only reason he gets work. Uh, what are you equipped with then now? Uh, he has a uh, he has a rifle at his uh, on his back, and he's carrying a sledgehammer in his hands. Um, armor? No armor. Neither Completely of you have, unarmored. That's important. Neither of you have your vault suits on anymore. You traded those. Yes, in for traded in for clothing. ballistic weave. And you and so you're just dressed essentially in like a um, it's like a it's like a black gray bodysuit, mm-hmm. but with regular standard clothing over it, or. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, you know, it's like whatever. some fucking, so just some, like, ba- baggy-ish khakis. Uh, like, not khakis, but like canvas pants, you know? Yeah. And then just, like, a button-up shirt. Yeah, okay. that works. Yeah, and before, spare before he would have taken time yeah. uh, to, you know, put an outfit together, That's and now point. he's he doesn't just care about matching whatever care anymore. at the moment, at least, yeah. I shaved my face a little bit. I Walter, got, our new character. Walter, uh, older guy, mid-40s. Oh, okay. Uh, balding, wears a cowboy hat. Has uh, uh, mutton chops, shaved the mustache, got rid of that. Okay. Creepy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I put new art on the stream for you to have yeah. the mustache. Yeah, now I gotta change it. Yeah. <laughs> I like the chops better. Gotta, um, gotta love a good pair of chops. Uh, he's, he's just wearing he's just wearing a button a button up plaid shirt with a, a duster over it. It's a ballistic weave and all that. A couple of pistols on. The so he flavor wise, he wanted his ballistic weave to be the duster. Mm. Keep in mind, you, you know what that means. If I lose the duster, because every time you don't have the duster on, you yeah. Do, okay. All right. And then under that, leather armor, right? Yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah. And then just, so just regular button-up shirts and jeans, yep. maybe? Yeah, work jeans. Yeah. Uh, I'll say it's pretty easy to get a hold of some western cowboy-ish boots, too. Definitely. Texas. Roll with those? Definitely. Yeah, from Texas. Texas so. No way. That's why you're able to easily get a cowboy hat in the boots there. Uh, no spurs, though. Yeah, well, you know, spurs are change. too loud. Can I change my race to Casador? It's also dumb to walk around in. What's <laughs> you want to change your race to Casador? You want to be the... <laughs> <laughs> the mysterious Casador? Um, okay, that's great. So... And then you're armed with two uh, two big irons, two revolvers, and two and, and a, a big old hidden boot knife. And, the, and the, so nothing doesn't stick out if at it's all. Big, it's yeah. probably not hidden. Ah, well, you, the, no, but the no. boots go up high enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's cowboy Trust boots. Trust me, you can hide a boot knife. Yep. A long boy knife actually in a boot. Yeah. Okay, so I let's go ahead and put on uh, wasteland wasteland travel, Kenny, oh, please. Like when you get the time. You didn't just take that. What if I didn't give her a choice? Okay. I'm sorry. You have to sit between them. Before you leave, uh, Jan, uh, who you recognize from from the from the submission, shows up and she she says, "Hey, let me see your your pit boys real quick." And you don't have to take them off each other. And she'll oh. program in Jan Jan Gruber, the um, one of the members of the Vault 370 dwellers. Okay. Uh, you don't remember her? Was she one of the five? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Right. She's a delicate African American. Yes. Got she's it. She's the cutest NPC we've had so far. So I don't know why you didn't remember that. But that was me. So. You're not an NPC. You know, my horse is pretty cute. Who? My horse is pretty cute. And the dog, Blue, is mm. pretty damn cute. Um, she pr- programs in the location of San Antonio. Pops up on your map. Come, come don't forget, don't forget that uh, 
when you guys, whenever you guys want anybody who's watching whatever you want, you can check out our just Obsidian Portal Irradiated Saddles. And I update and have already updated for today the world map on there. So you know the green overlay world map you're gonna fall out for and other fallouts. That's uh, that's I keep that updated nonstop. So feel free to check that out if you ever feel like it. Uh, before we take off, you guys said you trade with the wasteland a lot. Is there anything we should know about sending Glodio before we head out? Well, we've never gone that far north. Uh, along the way is a lot of wild. So, you know, be prepared to encounter a lot of a lot of dangerous wildlife, uh, a lot of tribals. And uh, I will tell you this, what we do know is up north, there's uh, moving parties include the Inquisition, um, a lot of super mutants. Uh, and then well to the east, but a bit to the north, You've got um, Godbod, the city of Godbod. And then uh, way up north, you got the uh, the Wackos up in Waco, Texas. They uh, they fight with the guys from Fort... Uh, shit. Fort Hood? No. What's the Texas Fort up by Waco? Anyway, whatever. They, they fight up with the uh, the remnants of the, of the uh, army up there. They're always in constant war, but that's well, well, well north. So these are all north, basically, right? Yes. Any chance you could help? Uh, you have any spare caps you can give us? Now we have to go. Make a diplomacy check. And so you say that you're gruff. <clears throat> any chance? You better get your accent on, man. Oh, I do. A any okay. any chance you got some uh, spare caps for us, boy? No, I'm kidding. So what'd you get? Eight. Eight? No, we don't really deal with caps other than like personally. The vault has its store, but that's for trade. Okay, yeah, you got Fort Hood. And uh, Texas, Fort Hood, and El Paso. Yeah, I think it's I think it's Hood that's relatively close to Waco, but I could be some some Texan is gonna be watching this and be really pissed off that I don't have those locations right off the top of my head. But, um, All right. There's a uh, extra points for those of you who can figure out which real life city is represented by Godbot. Hang on, don't tell me. Corpus Christi. There we go. Anybody get it? <coughs> yeah. Corpus Christi. Yeah. I get it. You know what that means? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Actually, you know what? Yes. Bottle cap. Oh, right. Right. You got a no hesitation. Yeah, there was no hesitation there. Did I tell you before? Or nope. did you know that already? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the answer's no regard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As a, as a football fan, I, oh. I hear a lot about Texas cities. And tell me, if Corpus Christi was in a follow game, it wouldn't be called something like Godbot. It should absolutely like be Godbot. All right. Uh, All right. So we're going to go to the Inquisition. Uh, so yeah. what, from what you can see on your map, Travel north and slightly east towards San Anglonio will take around seven days of walking, assuming an eight-mile-a-day or an eight-hour-a-day hike. You know that's the foundational yeah. uh, travel time frame. You can always press, but there are te uh, endurance tests to make and stuff like that if you want to. Now that is uh, actually a seven days. A problem with ever taking endurance-related perks is sure. I can go all day, marching all day, never get tired at twice my normal speed. Uh -huh. We can't. But the rest <laughs> of the party can't, so it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> yeah, I, it's true. You, in any, in any just game, ask Pathfinder, that, Starfinder, yeah. D, I don't know if D&D &D 5th Edition has an equivalent. But yeah, if you don't all have it, then what's the point, right? Yeah. Well, I guess the difference is, no, no, no. It, it's still relevant in the sense that if you do need to get somewhere quickly, so you must make a forced march, when you get into a random encounter... You've benefited yourself, at least, because you don't have sure. the penalties. Yeah. Right? yeah. So it's rare, right? I've always thought that... What, what's the feat that was in the path of endurance? Is yeah. That called? I've always thought it was just a real superfluous feat. That you didn't really need to take it. Especially because once you get to a certain level, you're not walking anywhere anyway. Yeah. Do you fly at a forced march in those games? Do, they, do we ever worry you about can, that? You can. I guess you would be able to. Right? Yeah. Right. If it's magical flight, it doesn't Why matter. Why would you though. ever get tired if it's magical yeah, flight? Yeah, you, right? you won't. All right. Only if it's natural flight. All right. So... Uh, What's that? We all got oh. wing a -ling. You said I'm magic? That's nice of you. Wibbles. You guys start out in the wasteland? Yes. You quit? You're not. No, I'm going to stay in the vault, 370. Just you, live the rest of my life. By the way, life. you guys, if any one of you want to make a new character right now or later, you can just stay in the vault and retire from this entire game. There's always that option. <laughs> well, <laughs> Why would you even just say that? Well, no. So, so let's talk about that. There's a legitimate, like, let's say Lyndon had been like, nah, I'm not, I'm not going back out there. Not like this. I'm just going to fucking stay here. I hate everything. You could have done that. If any of you were traumatized to the point mentally because of what's happened so far that you don't want to go on, there's always that option. We'll get there. Don't worry. Okay. So you guys uh, are traveling along. 
Ooh, you got are, you, TV. are you doing what's that? I just bought a new TV. Nice. Just on your phone right just now? Just now? Uh, Jenny did. Oh. <laughs> they are one in. Love it. Oh, that's awesome. You hear buzzards and coyotes and such in the distance. And a bobby. Are you doing your standard eight, uh, eight hour travel? Are you guys doing, no need to. I mean, that's a real question. Are you pressing or no? Because you're after someone, but they've had a week already. I don't think. We, I, I don't think pushing ourselves to the point where we're gonna be to press. I don't think it's a good idea. I want to push hard. I'm sure you do. I am. You say that. We're not gonna be of any use to anybody if we get there and we're exhausted. Keep up. Just try to keep. up. So, you, so, so I'll ask you this then. Since you're the one that wants to do that, you're going to be ahead of the rest of them. Sure. Do you want, you'll get way ahead of them, days ahead of them eventually if you press the whole time. Mm -hmm. Is that your plan or do you want to let them keep up with you? Well, you got two choices. Go by yourself or not. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're, so no, I, mean, you, you I will not go by myself, but I will be hounding them throughout That's a, the show. Well, I was going to say, flavor wise, you can still be up ahead, going up at ahead. a slightly faster pace than yeah. everyone else, and be like, come on, and like give them yeah, a shot yeah. back to everyone else. And eventually they'll get sick of you and then. Oh, I'm gonna give it three hours until I just ignore everything he says. Yeah. Okay. So you guys travel for the first day. Everyone make luck checks. Can I spend a bottle cap? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Hell's yeah. This, you <laughs> that is a three. Dude, I just saw his bent bottle cap from his drink, oh, and I thought okay. you bent my Nuka Cola bottle cap. I was gonna be so <laughs> mad at you right now. These are from Etsy. Okay, they cost me twenty dollars. What? They have this on Telegram Escape. Yeah, that was it. Was before that. Oh. I, I bought Do these. Yeah, yeah, but yes, they're he hell, they're hella expensive though. Oh. It's I like thirty five dollars. I just saw them and I was like, it's oh. like thirty five dollars for twenty of them, but they're they're not even real bottle caps either. They're plastic mm -hmm. recreations. So it's just whatever you want to get, right? I bought these for 20 bucks for like 10, which actually, if you think about it, you put cap for cap, the same price. It's a bottle cap with- And you put a sticker on it? Yeah. But this isn't a sticker. It's- This is- A I decal. Is that what this is? Yeah. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Look at the edges. I don't think it is. I think you could scratch it off. No, it's a decal. Is it maybe just the white part the decal and the red is? No, the whole thing is a decal. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> You're a freaking decal. You're a decal, man. asshole. <laughs> oh, mercy. Um, oh, New what's York. the lowest luck check? I got a 20. I got a 3. 19. 3? I statistically can't get lower than that. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, okay, you're fine. You guys go to sleep on that first night? What's your What's your watch look like? Oh, shit. It's a pit boy. Stupid. Oh, your robot, your robot can watch for us, right? Yeah. Robot can robot. always watch. Robot. Is that reliable for the whole night? Yeah, it was Garden of Vault. Yeah, she's fine. You, you can ask her. I don't know why she's not my robot. She's. Oh, I thought she was like my thing. She's she's in generally she's, she's generally your boo. Not in that way. She's generally pretty good natured. Why are you being so rude? The robot. Uh, she's generally pretty good natured. Uh, she's quiet, but uh, you know. Every now and then she'd be like, oh yes, that's a, uh, and make a comment about some shrubbery or something in the distance. So she'll, she'll say, yes, I'll, I'll gladly watch overnight. Sounds good. I'm and excited. then she just starts doing a slow circuit around where you guys set up camp, you know? Uh, so make a perception check overnight. Oh, you're sleeping. Wait. Well, it's for her. Oh, I thought it was just her standing over me. It, to see her. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You know that your eyes flutter when you sleep? I like that. You said I wasn't yours. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm you, said, you said I belong to everyone. That is a three. What kind oh, of robot do you take me for? <laughs> Jesus. But it's not anymore. Store oh, portrait. That's right. Oh, 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 can you do to change other people's roles? Yeah. She's mine, right? But you're asleep, too. But that's. Well, but that's. I well, thought actually, store portrait could be used so. for everyone. Well, but store portrait. Any role. Just like a mechanic thing, though, right? Yeah, any, any role. But it's my luck on her. Yeah, yeah, but I thought you could use it for other I characters. You, used, you could use it for other I, characters. I thought we changed it. Did we? First of all, what does it say? First of all, it's Read a new day. Right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Is it? So what no, what, it's what still time night. Is this has to happen? What time does this happen? Well, you guys woke up in the morning at the vault, as we just discussed, so you need a new one for that oh. day. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a new day. Yes, it is. 
Store Fortune 2. Two. Would you re-roll that with your other ability and spend another action I point? Do, so. Okay. 16. Okay. <laughs> so it's the same thing as it was yesterday. Yeah. Literally what happened um, yesterday. That's what do you what, what do you guys think? Destiny. As a group. I mean, I'll, I'll make the same. Just your animal companion, I think you should be able to. It the the robot is part of his character build. I was gonna say if he and, wants and to And he use can it use it to affect else. other PCs. The, the, the only question is not about that, it's about whether you can do it while asleep. Sure. But you're not actively locked. Yeah, you're not actively yeah. gifting anyway. All right. Uh, so uh, uh, what? Made by you or any creature person making a D20 roll that directly affects you. So that's the question. Does her perception at whatever may or may not be coming? Um, yes, it does. Di- no, directly affected. No. The word indirect probably guess, applies here because he's asleep. Ooh, that's a tough call. I'm gonna go. With, I'm change. gonna go. I'm gonna allow it. Mm-hmm. And so here's what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Lisa gonna die. You're gonna die first. Go ahead and bring that back. <laughs> the robot's only gonna wake her. <laughs> Oh, you haven't done the, to- uh, the tokens on it yet, because yeah. I didn't tell Something's you what to do yet, right? Oh, that's a shame for them. Look, roll me away, please. So let me pull it oh. over. Oh. Would you please. like to do the tokens while it's still on that screen, though? Misa yeah. like me. Remember how to do the tokens? You're going to text, vaguely. I'll I'll to all you. Hugs and kisses. So, by the way, that's going to be two strong. Wow. And you can choose multiples at once. More bomb bad soldiers. You can even do this way. Filter. I mean, that's just playing W on music as I roll over. So do Benjamin. I said filter, not doucher. <laughs> and then do this one, even though it's a normal robot. And then go, and then so open all those. And then go back go? again to 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 the you can't see chapter three, and then the very first thing. That's gonna be. It should show up larger than everyone else. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Why did you say that? Why wouldn't I? Rainbow Road. Mm-hmm. Oh. The whole thing? Yeah, it just looks massive. On you can this. you can do control I mean, minus still, to yeah, uh, start zooming out. That's what she said. That was actually because so, it big fire. Oh, that is weird. It's at a hundred percent. We must just have just been operating at sixty. So you don't see what's happening right next to it. What? I mean, even then, it's still scaled. But weird. that means nothing to me. Oh, it doesn't. It's no. It literally. Can we move these sheets closer? Then? I don't that's think probably it as good as we're gonna get it. I guess maybe. Or is, is this expandable? No, but it's ex- you can drag it. That just does that. No. Yeah. Mine now. Mm-hmm. You can drag the whole thing though, right? Or no? Wait, can that go back over there? Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, so that's our map. It's well, only going to be in the corner. Yeah, I mean, we can... So that's at 100%. Yeah, that do that. It's just a little blurry. It's fine. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so let's move tokens then. Jump. I don't know where... Mm-hmm. Just do that first. <laughs> they just have them around the like fire in various squares. Still right one of my favorite. Still one of my favorite skits of all time. You're going down. Oh, you know what else? Super slam. That's one of my favorite skits. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's they can't really see much here. Let's just. No. Bring That's why I told you to do it here. Because John's only there. I can bring it back over. Let me get some real quick. Why does she keep picking up the phone? Yeah, you gotta grab it on the top part. Is it not grabbing the actual window? Yeah. So good. One second. I'm actually been happy to hear John sing his music. <laughs> that and when they still put them on Skyrim. Did you see that? Yeah. That's weird. Where everybody's John Cena. Yeah. Yeah. You know, every time sneak attack and play it. Which doesn't John make sense. Cena. Cause <laughs> cause <laughs> anyway, all right. Do your, do your, <laughs> your sound shit. That's weird that he wants to do like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so just have them create them spots around the camera. Yeah. We want them close. Yeah. To yeah. Right close to yeah. Yeah. Put the robot next to where we're going to use them anyway. Move it. Put me away from everybody else. Yep, you did? You are. And then, yes, and then I'll tell you what to put the D-pad. Go ahead and you can bring the map back over if you want. No offense, but it's kind of... All right. <laughs> there we go. Now we're set up. Sorry about that delay. So, you uh, go ahead and switch it to dungeon. Dungeon. Sticker swarm combat. And you are... This is the wrong type of robot. All right. Yes. I'll get you a good uh, uh, Securitron later. So, you are jarred awake. And she says, uh, well, I just noticed that we have an issue. And from above, on these rocks around you guys, it's dark because it's night, but on the rocks around you guys, um, these, like, dozens 
of little living, moving cacti that are just making no noise except for as they crawl across the ground at each other, jump down from above and land down on you guys. So then I wake up in this, like... You get to be in this surprise room. Cuckoo! That's your fucking uh, wake-up Roll call. initiative. Yeah. I get a plus just seven. Right All of you get to roll, which is the... Yeah. Plus seven to initiative. You have a plus seven to initiative? Two. Awesome. I have a minus four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whenever your armor penalty applies to your initiative. It does. It. <laughs> yes, it does. My armor penalty is plus two. Wait, where's your... Where's initiative? In the middle. Yeah, see that little asterisk? Armor check penalty applies. So where's my armor check? Minus two. So you have a plus five. You suck a butt. Cheater. You cheater. <laughs> you should write down your ACP somewhere on here so that you can't yeah, do that. Yep. Everything has an asterisk. Let's do that now. ACP. Which one's mine? Is the three. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's unfortunate. So, uh, so Walter got an eight. Lyndon got a... Fifteen. Fifteen. Dylan got a... Five. Five. My roll almost went off the table, but it's twenty. Plus... Uh, that's a, initiative is plus... It's a skill. Agility? Yeah. Then that would be... Wait, is it, it's plus agility, right? Twenty-one. Yeah. Twenty-one for Benjamin. And for these creatures... You can use an action point to reroll that initiative. Mm-hmm. Is that considered a luck based ability? No. I don't know. Initiative is reflex is good. Yeah, I don't know how this is to be fair. Here. Can I reroll? Is it considered luck? To reroll initiative? Absolutely. I don't know how that works. Like what you do you have a stored you? portion? What do you have what what ability is that? Once per day, you can re-roll a d20 roll. But it has to be, it has to apply. But luck has to be a factor. Mm-hmm. Uh, once per day, action point, re-roll one die, just made a pick better result, so long, so long as the result depends on luck more than skill. Yeah, That's so definitely. once per day, did it say? Yeah. Once per day. One, based, once yeah. per day, roll that's, a Yeah, that's right. I don't know the difference between well, skill-based or luck-based. Because it's literally a skill. It but I'm saying, like, based. what does an initiative skill mean? So every skill can't be luck based. Sure. If, every, if I can't use that for any of these skills, then the perk is useless. Yeah, then it's almost useless. <laughs> <what's wrong? laughs> so, but which ones doesn't apply to you? Know, there should be. It should say. Like, Sometimes initiative won't be like luck based. Sometimes check. it will. In this situation, you're talking about waking up and acting on time. Where were you in your sleep cycle? Right. Stuff like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow it. Go for it. Right. Spin an action point and re-roll it to roll a natural twenty. Jesus Christ. Welcome to the club. So that's a twenty-five instead for uh, instead for Walter. But yeah, dark. So like, for instance, if you guys walk up to a group and you're like, we're oh. going to fight you, and they're like, we're going to fight you, and then I say roll initiative, probably not much luck in the right? Oh, sorry. I forgot to take out my, uh, huh? my AC. Why well, can't I just be lucky and get, get to my gun? Here's punch. another example. No, because that's not luck. If you was, you're, you're, you have your six shooters, right? If you were doing a high noon duel and you guys go to draw, there's not going to be luck involved there. You got the skill to draw that quick and shoot first, there's no luck involved there. I gotta, it just seems arbitrary. It, it is. is. It quite it very Absolutely much is. You know what you need for arbitrary stuff? A, a game master. My name, my name is right, actually buddy. a twenty because I have a one, I have minus one ACP. So. Yours is a twenty. Yeah, got it. Okay. How many sticker swarms are there, Ken? Did I write these down? Do I need to look at the document for that? Yeah, there are there are two. <laughs> I literally didn't write it down anywhere. There are two. There are two. Okay. Yeah, so give me a second one whenever you get a chance here. You probably have to reload it in again. You might be able to just copy it. Yeah. So when you move one, go ahead and move him around. Drag him somewhere. Sure. Okay, now go up there. You just. I mean, you have to use like a head size golf ball, but it would work. Files, no, yeah. The you got it. And then just I mean, do add. You have to play down. like a wedge, like a sand wedge, I think. Scroll down. No, you the last one. The driver. It's like scrolling. How's your, uh, okay, hold on. Time to fix this over here. I know, but like, how's it going? Yeah. Yeah. Just hit add and then it'll, it'll automatically put one on top of the other yeah, one. Yeah. Right. It's just because it's weird on that. Yeah, left actually. Screen. Nice. It'd okay. be really nice if we had somebody that had I'll a uh, golf uh, It'd be really <laughs> nice if we had somebody with a blast weapon. Perfect. Okay. So this first one's gonna come down I have tits floating and cover it. these two. That would make these <laughs> that would more completely nullify this. More. Literally cover them right there. <laughs> no, a little bit back. Sorry. The squares are here. That's there you go. Yep, perfect. <laughs> We're good enough. And then the other one, 
Let's go ahead and move it right over. Just climb on the Who had the lowest luck roll? Linden, when I had you guys roll a luck roll, right? Yep. Okay, right over him. All right. A little I bit did. more that way. There you go. Boom. I'm just going to lay there and let them kill me. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, oh no. Just take me. <laughs> it's, it's time to die. Sweet death. <laughs> just eat uh, little bits of your skin. Question. Sweet death's release. <laughs> Here's a question. Yes. We all made luck rolls, yes? Yes. So why is that one on me? Um, that one's on you because your robot drew their attention by and saying that. So affect the robot. Do it. That's why. All right, what is it, what's their damage as they move over? Swarm damage. Doesn't he get to act in the surprise round, too? Okay. Yeah. Oh, so I'm going first, right? That's interesting. That doesn't really come into play because it's auto damage. Yeah. Do you still make it? Well, but their luck score matters. No, it doesn't. That's it. Can't Could crit. Could you put, put your razor doctor hand? Can't crit. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Auto. I go first. Why? I'm acting in a surprise round, and I have higher initiative. You don't have higher initiative. Okay. That's the difference. Because you're sitting on only 20, right? So you can't talk to a doctor like that. You're assuming they you're didn't have a higher than 20 Walter, initiative. Shut up. They should uh, First one, Walton Sprite. But he's, but he's not in the Sprite one, yeah. Oh, and they missed the fuck. You okay. want to, I rolled an 18 and they have a plus 3 initiative. Oh, I'm saying, like, they, I don't, oh, their initiative bit bonus is too high, so. Actually, I rolled a 19 and they have a plus 2. Yeah, I rolled a 19. Okay. They beat you by 1. Yeah. And actually, they would have still beaten you at 21 because they had a higher initiative modifier. Right? Mm -hmm. right? Okay. Here we go, ready? Set? You take one damage. Mm. Oh my god, are you okay? Either yeah, are. neither you nor your robot take any damage. Oh my god, so are you okay? The other swarm. Huh? If you're asleep. They, this is gonna be. Oh, a, I will cry out. Actually, Linden is actually. stepped on a bug. This is interesting. Linden is actually the weakest against this combat because you guys all have DR and they do low damage, but they auto hit. Think about that. But yep. they're also not gonna be happy. So Linden takes fight. three. Pencil disappeared. Your console. Uh, Jared, take it. Did you check your butt? Linden takes three points of damage. That's the first place I checked. Three points of damage as this, as these swarms of s stickers, these small uh -huh. cacti, swarm over you and start slashing at you and needling you. Well, okay. Okay. They're now. Needling me? They're trolling me? Yes. Now it's your turn. No, no. Yes. Now it's your turn. Sorry. In the surprise room. Go. So they're all over. They. You wake up, right? She's talking down to you, Luke, and then all of a sudden they're just from above you on the rock outcropping, just drop a dozen little cacti people. And land on you and her. Oh, perfect. You're all in line. That's gonna work. Draw my pistol. They will get attack of opportunity, though. There you go. As you shoot. Yes. Uh, swarms can't take attacks of opportunity. That's true. They sure can't. Ah, Except this <laughs> one can. <laughs> Why do you always do that to me? Oh, now <laughs> yeah, I'll be doing that. Ghosts can't be critted. Except. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he did it in the last campaign, too. This ghost can't be uh, uh, wrestled to the ground or something. Except. Yeah. Oh, well, remember we that did. time? You're like, Didn't you have him in a, was it JP who was wrestling yeah. the ghost in that last campaign? At one point? Yeah. Yes. I want to say he choked. Like, what the hell? Remember also, Draconians have wings so they can fly, except. Yeah, <laughs> except <laughs> for you falling down a hole and explode. <laughs> we just can cast tensor flooding discs because so they just can't fall. Except you didn't take floating discs. Right. Disc. All right, make it before, was that your defense roll or your attack roll? Attack. Okay, before that even happens, you need to make a defense roll. You can keep that if you want. Such a good But make your defense roll. All right, defense roll against the attack of opportunity. Swarms normally can't. He is right. He's metagaming, but he's not wrong. Go ahead. Well, metagaming. It's the literal definition of metagaming. Except I'm not, not metagaming. I'm not acting on that knowledge. He's not acting. Metagaming is when you act on the out of character knowledge. That's fair. That's fair. Not only He's that, meta talking. It's like not even his turn. Yeah. You're meta talking. Yeah. Game mechanic talk. Well, the only, I guess the only reason I'm good, I'm just fucking. But the only reason some people might care in other oh, games is because if you say that out loud and other people didn't know that, you. if they allowed it to change their actions, you know what I mean? Sure. Uh, make a defense roll, sir. Make it. Do it. That's a 10. And still, we're pretty close. I thought they auto-hit. They auto... It, you'll see. <laughs> oh, sorry, he's I'm attacking. assuming... It doesn't specify, but he's, I'm assuming that... What's happening, he's not allowed. I know. I'm, he's a, he's I'm assuming that I have to spend a action point to use this reaction for Fool's Luck level 2. It doesn't specify that I have to spend one, but it says once per encounter, I have a reaction, I can give myself a plus 5 luck bonus on my defense roll to the end of the turn. Why well, would you have to spend an action point for that? Just it'll ask me. It'll, it'll say it. Say it. No, it'll say it. Okay, yeah. then I don't have to. So as a reaction, you're gonna give yourself. You're gonna do that. Yeah. You're gonna spend one action point to give yourself a plus. That's what I'm saying. Like, do I have an action point? It doesn't say I have to. Just once per round. Sorry, shit. Sorry. Anyway, you're yeah. gonna do it. You're yes. gonna spend a reaction. Yep. Yeah. You're gonna use your reaction mm -hmm. to give yourself what? Plus five luck bonus to my defense roll. Okay. Then they. Yeah, then it's only one use roll. Yep. Yeah. 
So what happens is, sorry. So let's 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 do this in a narrative manner. So you you go to grab your pistol and you pull it up to shoot at just all the cacti that are all over. And as you go to shoot, two of them tumble towards you, and you uh, you just roll to the side like this, and they both tumble past you and fall to the ground next to you. Um, you realize after you look up and go to shoot that because you didn't even plan this, but there's some luck involved. That as you as you pull up to go to shoot, that two of the others had turned around and from their posteriors shot needles right at your face. But because you rolled, their needles went and hit the ground next to you, and then you get to shoot. What's a reaction? Is that an action? That yeah, so in, never in, taken in, in Star, never, No, in Starfinder you have... I haven't heard of it. In Starfinder you have... Um, oh, shit. Reactions is something we rolled in from Pathfinder 2nd Edition and Star Wars. But we did it... It's a very simple process. You have standard, you have move, you have pull, right? That's right. But every round you have one reaction. Yeah. And it's essentially a non-action, but you can only do one of them per round. That's how you do well, things what like. Can I do? That's how you do things like take an attack opportunity. That's a reaction. Okay. Every time you take an attack opportunity, you use your reaction. Uh, You're confused because we haven't used the word reaction before, because yeah, yeah, we yeah. don't really need to. Yeah. Because for the most part, most people, the only time you ever use a reaction is to make an attack opportunity. So right. why does that matter? However, there are perks and abilities that unlock other ways to use reactions. Okay. In fact, there's a perk that allows you to do more than one reaction in a round, things like that. So. Okay. Wait, which one's that? I wonder who has that. Uh, so, attack is a 18. Does someone give me a bonus? No, you don't do that anymore. Nope. Mm. Okay. I'm not about help. I don't help <laughs> other people not, now. He is not inspirational. <laughs> He's not even helping himself. Attack is an 18? <laughs> that is a miss. What? Mm, okay. I'm in. Hey. Oh. So, what's up? Does yeah. the fact that... Does you have more? Does the fact that it's a burst help at all? Or... That it's yeah. a it's a line, right? Yeah. So no, it does no it's not, just a it does not help here. Yeah. Okay. So you miss. You aim it to go through both of them. Yeah. Why wouldn't it? But then it misses both. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Ah. Would, it, would the roll? We haven't discussed this. Would the roll is the roll against both or? Is yeah. Yeah. Yes. One roll with yes. a line. Yeah. That's yeah. how we've been doing. Yeah. Yeah. So so you so you shoot with so you do all that you shoot with the pistol with the with the new plasma pistol mm -hmm. you have right. And the plasma superheats and just goes right through spaces where they just were. Mm. And they're tumbling around and rolling. Better get rolled in. You almost caught a few of them with it. It was very close to hitting. It and now you only have um, one more shots. <laughs> yeah. Until he has to reload. Did, did they give yeah. you two clips of that, or do you no, only one? Of, oh yeah, because you chose two different weapons. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's now we go to the top of the round, mm -hmm. and it, ironically, it's it's Walter first. So mm -hmm. right because you had such a high initiative. So mm -hmm. go for it. Yeah. Uh, I guess ironically. Walter PPK. I have to stand up to pull my weapon up? Or can no, you can shoot from, from the ground. ground. Okay. You can always shoot from the ground. I'll shoot from the ground then. Um, do you have the ability to draw bold weapons? Yes. Um, for I don't know if that is a <laughs> perk, but I have the ability to draw a weapon as a swift. No. I don't have the ability to use the two weapons in one turn yet. Okay. Because that's like use your off or there's an offhand ability that gives you like a minus six to use. <laughs> we'll go with, you do have the perk to draw one weapon as a swift, uh -huh. so we'll say it's only one though to do that. Yeah. Later when he's able to do, yes, okay. So as a swift action, if you want to use Well, the, the second one comes into play later. But exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. my point. So if you want to use it, just for now, if you want to use a swift action to draw your weapon, which yeah. is a perk that you earned, yeah. you can only do that with one weapon at a time. Yeah, of course. Now, you can still use two swifts to draw them, but that's up to you. No. Okay. Just one. That'll get better. In, like his quick draw ability will get better as he goes up the, up well, the tree. And we'll, I'll, we'll I'll go into it in a minute after combat. Anyway, so you draw one weapon. You're on the ground. So he's 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 sleeping on his on his bedroll. Just opens eyes. Up and literally just rolls over, draws yeah. his weapon, and just shoots yeah, right still, away. So Wait, do you shoot upside down? I get up on a knee. That's actually kind of oh okay. I get up on a so knee. he just rolls to a knee, draws, and get shoots. Up on a knee, I like and that. I'm gonna start shooting at where. Yeah. You say I'm it's high. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just chewing on. Oh, that's great. 14 <laughs> becomes a? He's goal uh -huh. Yeah. Range attack. Uh, one, two, three. I'll leave him first. Uh, 17. It's your agility? Yeah. So I'm going to go with your BAB. I'm yeah, going yeah, feral ghoul tree. No, it's perception. Range attack. attack. Yeah, sorry. Perception plus BAB. Yeah. Yeah, we end per you eat your 17. 17? Just trying to see if I have any other perks yeah, that go with yeah, it. That'd be fine. I'm trying to remember. This is a new character for me. Yeah, is this the one that attacked earlier? No. Slow. Uh, yeah, no. So you I thought he attacked both of them. No, he shot a He's line right. here. He, 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 he both. How? He, uh, when That's you said both of them, I thought yeah. you meant, but yeah, it's impossible. No, it's He's not. here. 
because he's in it, he could just aim it this way, and it starts in his square. <laughs> so, as I said, he shot only that one. Okay. You as a GM okay. in Star Wars would have shit all over anybody trying to do that, by the way. Yeah. He's, he's up shooting. When you, said, shoot I, it. when you said, did you shoot both, I thought you meant, did he shoot yeah, both squares the, of this yeah. one? You thought you were able to shoot both? No, I thought I meant, like, I okay, thought there were, like, multiple there the swarm, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what okay. I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I misunderstood. Yeah. yeah. Now, so I'd be bad ass. Now let's let's be, I know exactly, but let's be let's be very clear. So you're benefit. If yeah, they were good. simply switched around, the robot and him, I'd be totally fine with that, right? Yeah. But it's right. So he's yeah, what you're saying is he goes back to here and shoots yeah. like that. Through it. It's just yeah. Okay. Well, so what no, if, you're what if shooting. He turns his hand don't tell me. Oh, then he's good. He can just curve the. I know. I'm, I'm not going to tell you the result yet. You shoot it at the one he didn't shoot. Wait, at. They, are they using down. swarm rules? Yes. Don't when you use swarm rules, they engulf your square, don't they? Yes. So if they're in my square, Dar's right. I should be able to shoot out of my square and hit both of these targets. No. The, here's the reason why. That's actually incorrect. When you shoot, the point of origin isn't from your square. It's from any point of your square. It's from any corner of your square. Yeah. So if he chooses this corner right here no. and goes that way. No, it's not. Sorry, it's from the nearest corner of your square, not any oh, corner okay. of your square. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, I can't I, you're smiling while you say it because you know <laughs> what you're doing. <laughs> and you're going with it because you no, want I need, to. No, I need to know because like, that's know, the house rule. Yeah, no, no. It's yeah. a, no, no, that's that's not a house rule. It's just that it's we haven't really talked about that before. No, that's we we did do it in Star Wars. With lines, yeah. and it was the nearest point. And that's simply what Star Wars. Now, now to be yeah. fair, well, th th that's the only other example we had because there are no line weapons. How do you? In, yes. well, we use line spell, and it's the same idea. In how do you? Well, I like what Star Wars is, Saga Edition has different rules. Like it was any fair. point of your yeah, square. Fair. And to be clear, and, and just to give you a little bit more of the benefit of that, so you, sorry, one second, so that you fully understand, mm -hmm. and so that everyone else does. If you, the way Benji is located, yes, you could certainly have the origin point of your weapon mm -hmm. be from either corner that is facing the opponent okay that's fair. just not the squares behind you to an opponent that's away from you oh, that's that, that, there you go yeah. okay so, so you shoot at the one that has not been shot at yet is that correct or you want to shoot at the one that has been shot at? Uh, I, I see him shooting at that so i'm going to shoot the okay one. so you shoot the one crawling all over the ghoul yes okay it's and, sad and you have a total course. of 17 are you going to leave it or no no i'm going to add to it d8 and an action force oh it is a 25 total because you rolled a D8 on his action point. Do you have increased action points because of your perk? Yep. I get a D8 instead of D6. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like so it. Nice. Okay, so you hit. So roll some damage. 1D10 damage with these newer improved weapons. Um, and I did not go into bats. I just got yeah. up and shot. Yeah. Oh, because of the interesting. No. Just I mean, considering we just died with Rich Axe. Yeah, I did just try to say it. Fire? She's, she's in fact, I did. Well, I didn't yeah. really think about it. I used an action point and got an eight. Squish. Guys, I think we have eight. And then dealt oh one. My oh, my oh, my God, he rolled a fucking one. <laughs> wow. It does no damage. As you chip off, like, a little portion of one of their little arms, but it just doesn't do anything to the swarm. You need a projectile? Yeah. And you don't have projectile specialization? No. Damn, this is okay. the, this is tips just full of dicks all over again. Yeah, now you did just well, you did just build your characters, but if you knew you were using revolvers, projectile spe specialization is almost mandatory. It's just you get a plus two to damage with projectile weapons. Yes. Take a look plus at your two. build. You're still building. They're still building stuff. Take a look at your build. Uh, this damage is one, and thus none because they have DR something. Uh, we'll go on to the next person, but take a look at that. And here's the thing. So for those who are watching again, we took all feats and all abilities from Starfinder and other systems and rolled them all into a perk system, which is what Fallout should use flavor wise. You guys aren't going to have every freaking perk memorized, so it's easy to forget something when you're looking at others. But that is right? what I was looking at, but I knew I was going It's under perception, base, so. I believe. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's him. So now we go to the uh, sticker swarms. So let's go ahead and take this swarm right here, Kenny, please, and Ooh. move it directly over... Shit, move it over all three Have of you them. Have you looked in the black world? Oh, no, there's fire there. No, there's fire there. Just move it directly onto, onto these two. So it's yep, it. a little bit Anybody more that right there. there. So that is going to hit all four, though, because it rolls through all four of their spaces. Right? Yeah, so you get a plus so, D6 against men. So, uh, Benji, Blue, Dylan, and Walter. Three damage. So no damage. Which means they don't get through your armor at all. Not yours either, I think. Three damage. Woo! No damage to you. No damage to anybody. Because I took the ball. What about the, what about, uh, uh, Blue? 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 DR is three, yes. DR is... She takes one point of damage. Okay, so she, so they, one of them gets some needles into her, uh, in between some joints, you know, to like the uh, rubber connectors as opposed to just metal, and she takes one oh. whole point of damage. No, I'm just actually just starting to look at her first. Oh shit! Oh, she didn't go. No. 
I didn't actually roll an initi initiative for her. One of your children is to do a death scream. Yeah, you yeah, did that other summoning something. Let's see what her initiative is real quick. Ah. It, he has a new pet, so it's easy to forget that she's going to act. 16? Uh. That's perfect, actually. So the, the they just went. So you go and then she goes. We're going to say that her action okay. in that surprise one was to wake you up. You good with that? Yeah. Okay, it's your turn. Sweet. Her initial is uh, 17. So, okay. Oh, we forgot about. Sorry, we forgot about one thing. Sorry. Uh, defense roll on Benji. Oh, they're shooting again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. Oh! That is a six. Plus my defense modifier, which is ne negated because of my armor check penalty. What do you think? But. I would have to rebuild it. I, I would have to take four we'll points. I need to take four perks out. Because I need to I increase my go. perception to be higher. Ah. For it to matter. Gotcha. Yeah. So that is a 11. I need at least one more. With the action point? Yep. Unfortunately, that is still a hit, I believe. I take two off of it. Yeah. Yeah. Just barely, but. So you take one damage, which is no damage. Yep. Um, but, does that still apply even though the DR keeps the one damage rolling through? That's the interesting thing. Otherwise, that'll never happen. It has to. Yeah, so make a fort save. Yeah, sure. It's either that or we up this damage. Yeah, correct. And this is fine, this one. Probably taking it. What's the total? Saves aren't ridiculous. Yeah. Ten. It's a 10? Yep. You want to leave it? Can you mold multiple action points? Absolutely. You can roll all your action points in one round if you want. Mm. But then you'll be out. So. Yep, this is my last one. You're going to use one? You can use it right now? Yep. Then don't roll it. Oh. Because the one is I need one. Okay. So go ahead and erase the action point. You used it, but you made the fort I'm out. So. Yeah. Okay. Not a bad use, especially since that was what you needed to guarantee it. Um, okay, so that's that is now their turn. They shot some needles. They they rolled through, and some of and as they're facing away from you, so just from their behinds a little bit. No, they're shooting needles from their asses. So I'm saying one just grazes my face. Yep. Just, the, yeah. The just poison right. didn't actually seep in. Yep. Okay. Then that makes it your turn. Now. Followed by blue. I'm gonna burn your butt. Bottom I'm going to guard it. Uh, guard step is a move action. Mm. Now I'm within their range. You can I? definitely guard step to here, mm -hmm. and then shoot through that. I'm in their. Uh, I'm right now. Am I in their critter? Uh, I was, they shot a range at me. So am I still in their uh, attack? Am I still in their uh, threatened area? You don't really know the answer to that. Uh -oh. eh, why risk it? Guard step. So guard step to here. Why would I just guard step this way? to here? Yeah. Because you'll hit someone else with your line. No, right, like right here. Right here. Yeah. She's she's right there. Dylan's right there. But if you guard a step, <laughs> if you do guard a step, <laughs> if you do, if you do guard a step to there, oh, you can fine. shoot yeah, diagonally and only hit them. If you do stay over here, you could fire at this or one. Or the other one. Yeah, yeah. Either way. So, your decision. I got Dylan watching my back. Oh, yeah, I'll just I'll fire from there. Okay, you do not provoke. Sweet. Go ahead and make your attack roll. Do it. It's 11 plus 4. That's 15. Wait. So they, they beat me on a defense roll then. They so have static defenses, but yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, so I already know I missed it. Because you know you missed before. Yes, yes correct. Okay, so you missed with that line. All right. Who's next? Is this? Uh, blue. Blue's turn to try. I was like, put your phone away, and it said he showed me a cute video of his baby, so now I can't do that. Anymore. <laughs> Which one? Jump card. He only has one baby. Oh, I don't know. Um, that is still a baby. She's a grown ass woman now. No, she's <laughs> you have a typical attack to me? I was, you know what I was going to say? Is she she knows things about life, but I was, I was like, no. <laughs> Did you start out? Uh, she knows a few things. <laughs> she, well, she learned some things. Yeah. Did you start out her attacks? They should be there. Yeah, okay. plus whatever, under the weapon. Well, that's our base attack, and then. Let me see. Under the weapons. Right there, it says offense. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Reading is hard sometimes. Well, that format's different from what he's seen probably. Oh, blast on. Remember, go. kids, reading is not just fun, it's fundamental. Sure. Can't spell fundamental without oh. mintap. Oh. Okay. Uh, I like her damage. Okay. Uh, with her blast arm, she can either do plus 5, 2d8, plus 4, or 129 minus 20 damage times 2. 
so. <laughs> Don't point that at us. Is there a typo? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> 29 minus 20. I want to do that. Let me see. What, what That's a, it's a curve yeah. range. There's just a 2 in there. Yeah. Instead of 19, 20? Oh, gotcha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, so here we go. <laughs> but then, no, but that's still not damage. That means she has a crit range of 129 minus 20. I like which is it. horrible. No, that means you have to roll. I would roll like 109. I would roll 130 on average, okay? Fair enough. 13 plus 8, 5. So that's 18 again. Oh, wait, they're on me? What the hell? 18 is a miss. Yes. But I she has action points. That. Oh, you're still counting. They have an insane armor class. Attack. Blue is gonna. Oh, never mind. That's not a miss. No, it's a hit. Sweet. So, yep, they've been attacked once. Uh, I'll just tell them. You know, it's a hit. So I guess we could have made her waste the action point. But my bad. Damage. Is that blast? Yep. So she needed to move first. Or she's hitting Dylan and Lyndon. No, and Walter. Oh, because it's literally a blast on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's it's a shotgun. Yeah. So she's gonna move to here mm -hmm. and then shoot like that and it's 10 or 20 uh 10 foot she's gonna hit because hers is no a cone she's gonna hit walter no matter what hers is a cone yeah then i'll just have her attack with her uh, blade arm then okay so you same attack roll yeah then you hit so damage is this is the same uh, bonus attack bonus yep she's just a ninja fruit, fruit ninja then yeah that's exactly good, good call yeah that's good <laughs> Why would you roll NDA since you rolled D4s? Because you sucks, like those more? Because those are big numbers. Were those bold no, eights? One yeah. Was a two. Oh, okay. Five plus? Five. Oh, a three D4? Yep. Sorry. Seven plus? Seven plus three, so ten damage. Ten nice. damage. So she and? Was, oh, is it only a wound on a crit? Yeah. Okay. So she activates her chain arms and then just starts cutting through uh, the uh, little cacti people. You okay? We should have given you an energy drink, huh? I'm good. Um, Okay, so that's Coke. Coke. Coca Cola? Sure. Okay, who's that's next? Uh, Lyndon. Lyndon, and then who's on deck? Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> Lyndon, right. Lyndon is not. <laughs> Lyndon cries. Stand up, lovely. hit, miss, I'm done. So you did stand up. Yep. Well, that was your defense roll then against sack opportunity. Oh, okay. So, so, they, so they hit you. Well, probably. Oh, no, that's... you have a crazy defense bonus. Well, no, not because I haven't moved yet, so it's only a 15 on my defense roll. They missed. All right. Good job. Hey, look at that. Dude, that's <laughs> dope. That, you rolled a freaking what? Eight? Eight, yeah. No one else would have been able to avoid a hit on rolling an eight. That's for damn sure. All right, so you stand up. Now you can make you an attack roll. smash them. Nice. Oh, that's much better. Uh -huh. So that's a 21. That's a hit. With your sledgehammer? Yep. Nice. <laughs> so, he, so, he, so, he just, so he just stands up from the ground with this almost unearthly grapes, right? Just like, sit, and they're like dancing. It's more like, it, it's not even unearthly. It's like he... Jerkily, like spasmodically, stands up. <laughs> like the ghouls in. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, do, you, do you lay on your stomach like this? <laughs> Is that how you he see actually it? only yeah, lays. He only lays under detritus and other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, like, every morning. That's it. <laughs> well, it's better than they, they do in Fall Seventy Six, where they just tee pose at you. Seven, eight. <laughs> Is there really a bug where ghouls running and T-posing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of bugs in that so, game. 12 damage. So. With what? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, 12 on the other one. You got it? Okay. So, obviously, they you know absorb some of the damage, but you're just smashing them side by side. At this point, with the fire, with everyone standing up and looking, or everyone looking, I should say, and you're in combat, and the fire light, that's, the fire that had started to die down, but it's still going, everyone who has, everyone who, sorry, everyone who feels like it can make a life science check. Too bad life science doesn't actually exist. So is it culture? Well, there's science. Oh yeah, it's science. Okay. Science. So I forgot that we rolled life science and physical science into science. So yeah. That's a ten. Seventeen. No. I like that. I like that though. Technically, you could make the roll, and you could roll the twenty, but your character wouldn't know. Yeah. So you do it. I made the roll. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to give him credit for being flavorful, 15. but he just sucks. Uh, okay, whoever got a 13 or higher. You, you, you notice that these are, <coughs> salute, based on what you read before, these are called stickers. Okay? What? And they, um, they have a, an interesting fruit-making ability um, where they can be harvested for uh, healing, healing fruits, essentially. Oh, yeah. 
so. Yeah, yeah. But so. only from living ones. Their fruits die almost oh, immediately after death. Oh, no. So you dissect them? No, we just beat it unconscious. And, and then, then they take his fruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Who's, uh, Dylan, go. Like this. Dying. I don't like it. Uh, I want to stand up. <laughs> and <laughs> then I'm going to part it. Shuckle bro. With... Why? <laughs> Not you, go. Oh, I was like, what He's, he's being dumb. Um, don't do that. With my <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> with my sledgehammer. Okay. So do I need to make a defense roll for standing up? Yep. Okay. It's the take one less. That hits the two with my... All right, so you take you one take damage. It. So I take no damage. So roll a fortitude. What? Why? Yeah, it does. I don't know. Yeah. You're good. And so do I. 16. Okay, you're good. For now. Oh, are you? Uh, I want to attack. Okay. That oh, is a natural 20. Natural 20. Natural 20. 20, 20. All right. Yeah. You want to confirm just for fun? Uh, that is a total of 13. Okay, not a crit, but it's probably still dead. Go ahead and roll your damage. Maybe. Actually, this map. I thought it was a crit. One more. You're you're including your uh, your basher modifier and stuff in there, right? Did you take basher? I did not. Oh, take you didn't basher. yet. You didn't yet. So how much? Ten. Ten. Okay, so you just swing around with your hammer, knocking some of them side to side, and at the very end, there's one left. You just and squash it into the ground. So I'm gonna throw my tablet, but you can delete that one. No, we must keep them alive. I'm gonna turn this table over and stop killing my creatures. We must keep them alive. And for whatever reason, in the back, alive. I need her. The ah, fruit salad ah, thing. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Top of the round, Lyndon. No, that's the wrong combat. <laughs> Walter. <laughs> Why do we have two in his go? Uh, Spit that out. Why like, what the <laughs> hell is wrong with you? That's the weirdest tasting paper. <laughs> Wait, compared that to doesn't what? Normal paper. How do you, have you how, met many, me? how many have, flavors of paper have you tasted? Uh, quite a few, actually. How many flavors of my dicks are you? Ever heard, hey, Dwight, <laughs> what are you doing? You ever heard of that? No, yeah. they never use that in any episodes of The Office. Well, one episode. If he did one he episode. know the taste of paper? He said he said he ha- my son has similar taste to paper. Yes, because his son was eating uh, one of the cards. Yeah. The good, the good cards. No, it would have been better if like there was some some possible mean, some possible knockoff it. paper up there. Someone was selling Dunder Mifflin brand paper, but the only way they found out that it wasn't their paper was, tasted was based on him. Well, tasting his it. words, his words, I believe, were uh, 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 he, my son picked what? the best best tasting paper. Oh, okay, there you go. That's yeah, so he knows what. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Paper. All right. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you, uh, Dwight. Thank you for watching that. Well, Who's the writer, Ryan? Whatever that guy's real name is. B.J. Novak. Wasn't he the head writer? Yes. One of. Or one of them. Yeah. One of the people Min- from my so work got a Dwight coloring book. So and, uh, and Kelly Toby, too. Kelly and Toby and were both, they both wrote. One of them what? Got a Dwight coloring book. You kids? Also, no. what's his name? One was? of my coworkers. Uh, Dwight's, <laughs> Dwight's cousin. Uh, Moses. Moses Mose. Mose is the director like of the show. Was, yeah, he's yeah. the director of the yeah. show. Yeah. What do you got, man? Um, mm-hmm. I would like to go into Vats. No, it's one of the department manager that got me. Okay. So that's a move. Yep, I believe. All right. What? It's a move action to enter bats. bats. And then it's okay. a swift to aim. Mm-hmm. And then a standard so I, I guess plus one for using the swift to aim. Yes. Yep. You do have to sp- you do have to spend one action point to do this at all. Mm-hmm. Right? To enter bats? Yep. Yes. Okay. And if you use your swift to aim, then you're making your bats attack out of plus one. Then that's what I'm doing. Who's got the rules? Man. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. They're right here. So. That's what I'm doing then. Thick. I'm going to shoot. Oh yeah, um, vital. Six C's? Vital, vital. That's pretty big. That's one of the few CCs? things I would allow here in a swarm. Well, there's no head or anything. Oh, I know. That's, that's exactly vital. it. Yeah, vi- vital. Go for it. Oh nice. shit! Is that a possible crit? Yes, it is. My life is three, so I get to go eighteen. Seventeen to twenty. Seventeen to twenty. Okay. Okay. Back it up. So back it up. Eighteen back, plus. Back, back, I need to see if it hits first. Back, back, back. What's that? I need to see if it hits. You know. Yeah, that's true. You know, what is it? So, plus three, plus four, so 22. Four is seven. No. no. If you have a zero luck score, your crit is 20. Yeah. So, plus one is 19, plus two is 18, plus three is 17. Yeah. Trust so me, it's a 17. I have yeah, the yeah. If you, if you have, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> 22 to hit? Plus is actually in that's the That's definitely a hit. Okay. So, see if you crit. No. But, that's okay. Fuck that, mm-hmm. I'm re-rolling it. Oh, shit. Did you, did you apply the vital subtraction? 
My bad. It's not 22. You're yeah, yeah, vitals, right. vitals drops a lot. Yeah, what am I talking about? It's uh, minus 8. So it's 14 total. So are you going to leave that or roll an action point to it? Yes. Target vitals, you got there? Yeah. I mean, that's the whole point of yeah. that is you're, because you're doing called shots. You're counting. Yeah. So do you want to leave the 14 or add to it? You know a 14 misses just based on what's happened so far. You can hit with this. Yeah. Not with that. Well, I can roll it twice. You can reroll your action points? Um, yeah, when using action points to increase d20 rolls twice, it takes better. That's awesome. Action girl, second perk of the action girl. Damn it! You rolled a one twice! Oh <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rashawn, oh, Rashawn, I, that's just how the dice roll sometimes. Rashawn, he took perks, damn perks, for luck. Yep. When when rolling action points to add to a d20, roll twice, take the better result. Okay. You roll 2d8 and roll two ones. Two action points. No. I know, and two action points. point uses and a full round to do so literally wait. nothing. You use action point to enter vets. Yep. yep. You use the action point to back to add to the d20. Re the, yeah, right. To, to re-roll the d20. To, right. to re-roll the add to the d20. Yeah. And roll two ones. So did you act... Did you well, you don't have to spend an action point to do... You just get to roll the bet too. So when... No, no. I know the answer. No, but Whenever I, you roll action points to add... You should be doing this always. You didn't do it earlier. You don't even re-roll. Whenever you use an action point to add to a d20, you mm -hmm. just roll 2d8 and take yep. it better. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. All right. So that's good. It's just that, you know, that you got fucked over by chance there. Don't use one action point, right, to enter vets? Yeah. No, you still used an action point to well, add to your d20. I want to see you oh, play yeah, this yeah. game, you know but you have to make a lot of saying? But you didn't use a third one to yes, re-roll yes, it or yes, anything. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad we got that ironed out. Really good. So yeah, but you're not. After Walter is their turn... <laughs> Really well, you, you and Anthony make luck builds. I hate and then <laughs> See how the game plays. The game no, no, no. You don't have to do that. He makes a luck build. I don't. And I crit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're not even... That's, that was really what would happen. I hate <laughs> Will has the worst luck in D&D &D ever. Good luck challenging him. Except for Steven. Yes. He, Steven is kind of taking over, yeah. Really? Has he? Yeah. yeah. When, yeah. when they play together... Specifically, oh. it's a shit show. Will's Will's rolls have been pretty damn average, and then Stevens have been. Except when it comes I to fate. Played with, I haven't played with Stevens in a while, so. Go ahead and move this uh, sticker swarm to where the other one was, over Dylan and Walter. That's not so true. it means Lyndon, Dylan, Walter, mm -hmm. one. So none. No damage. I keep on rolling ones and twos. At least I'm rolling four Shut and up. two. For, okay, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> for both of the machete and a sledgehammer, I get to add my strength bonus to damage, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that's that's its turn. Oh no, it gets to shoot once at. Uh, back at Linden, same thing as in. It yeah, because I like I was describing it. They that. shoot the needles from their rear. Like, the they don't. I'm not talking. They don't have butts. They're not shaped like humans. But from the rear of their bodies is where they shoot the. So needles like a from. scorpion tail winds up and. Yeah, exactly. Make a d20. Make a defense roll, Dark, <laughs> please, for Mr. Linden Washington. Oh, I can't touch it. He just gets up and fucking. At so least your defense shit. Perky like jerky is around. That's 27 because I haven't moved yet. 27 oh. defense roll. That's amazing. So Okay. He just moonwalks out of the way. Yeah, essentially. Or he does the Michael Jackson lean. Is he still depressed, though? <laughs> <laughs> it goes to he just phases out of existence. It goes through him. That's how you get through Wall of Force. All right, Benji's turn. And then it's your And then it's your Baka move. Uh, Party step back. Okay. You know the difference between uh, Tony Stark and Chewbacca? What? Tony Stark doesn't die when you throw a moon at him. Oh, solid work. Solid work. Yeah, uh, draw, draw a laser rifle and fire. <laughs> okay. That's from the EU that you just anymore. Laser rifle attacking? That's yep. all that exists. You gonna boost I it? Oh, you moved. It Never mind. Right. now after <laughs> what happened with Missed? Okay. Next is, uh, who's. I, I, blue. Who blue. would have known I missed the days of Chewbacca dying by a moon? <laughs> See, it actually moves. That's, I mean, but it rolls. <laughs> <laughs> blue. Missed. Missed? Oh. All right. With a melee weapon because they're they're in the same yeah. area. Okay, that's smart. Okay. After blue Linden. Linden. I'm thoroughly well, I annoyed inside this so one. Right. Now yeah, I'm going to yeah. I'm going to charge the swarm. Okay. Uh, can't. I'll take a five foot step back and then charge it. I love you. No. So charging isn't a standard in this. I love you so much. Hmm? It's not Star There's Wars. No five foot step. Well, no. I'll, I'll move five foot step back and then charge forward. No. No, wait, uh, so charging is still a full round action. <laughs> I love you so much. No, I do it as a standard. You do it, he does it as a standard, that's why you can do that. No, and I don't have to charge in a straight line, so I could literally go like, Yep, I forgot, he has perks that fuck the charge. I think you do all yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could. No, so you can definitely, you can definitely take him as, 
So you're charging. Is it, it's it's, it's so still a standard. Charge. Yeah. So so he doesn't even have to take a guard step. He just moves. Do a lap around. Which and then which doesn't matter because they can't take an opportunity like that anyway. And then and then charges. Yeah. Go, good job. Okay. I forgot that you have that build now. Yeah. Do you charge like a gazelle? So he sort of he takes a step. Yeah. Do you, ahead, do you glow already when you charge? Yes. Okay. So this is the first time you see this. He backs up and it's nighttime, right? Mm-hmm. And he just. And just runs towards him and starts and like leaves a trail of. No, glow. I don't. I don't leave the. Trail. I know, but not mechanically. But there's a trail of glowing radioactive energy as he charges. Don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> you could walk next to him. And then I, he slams the, uh, the the sledgehammer down and there's right an ex- next to his face. And there's an explosion of, of yeah. radiation. Right near you. Doesn't do anything to you, but just right near you because you're still laying on the ground or you're kneeling, right? Yeah. Right now. <laughs> no, he's mad because he kept on missing. Oh. And hopefully it's because that was a cool description. Uh, that is. Do I, I get the plus two for charging? Absolutely. Or? Okay, so that is an eighteen. You gonna leave it? No. Oh, it's actually it's already been attacked once, hasn't it? Yes. Pay attention. You gonna leave it then? So I will leave it. Okay, you hit. Thank you. Thank you. Pay attention. No, I'm just kidding. It's, so they it's take. Okay. <laughs> it looks at a man to pay attention. It's okay to confirm it. They take seven, eleven points of normal damage. That's enough, right? Yep. Mm. And then some. And then six points of radiation damage. No, nice. So you guys, he uh, well, it's so he so he swings down, smashes some of the remaining ones. There are still two or three left, but where the hammer hits, radiation like fiery radiation just shoots from that and engulfs him, and it's and just burn out and fall on the ground, burnt and, and destroyed, right near your face. But you're fine. It like it stopped. The glow just stops right before you. What kind of hammer did they give you? I didn't get that. We go back to Wixley. He put in bending stone in it. He actually, he when Wixley he does that, he, he like drops bending. the hammer and just like stares at his hands and then just like shoves them in his pockets. Yes, because that one was the one we were looking at. <laughs> yes, your hands, not the glow trail. Not really done with this. Yeah. Thing you're, yeah. So as I was attempting to warn you, there are stickers in the area. Are there more? I'll keep an eye out. You make her louder. Right? Make her louder. I could, but I kind of like this. <laughs> the fortitude save? Yeah, yeah I know it's really it. No, it's her voice. It's kind of soothing. It's not desert again, though. Soothing? Is the word you're using? Soothing? You'll be dead. The area yeah, there in is. You're depressing. Yeah. We need something <laughs> upbeat. Dana Road? I liked you better when you were yeah. your daughter. Do you have alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I got real weird. <laughs> Hold on. I got real weird. Um, <laughs> so the night. I was gonna say the same thing, but really awkward. And no, you didn't. <laughs> you he said I liked you better when you were your daughter. That's <laughs> great. I mean, that's not. That's Probably just not weird true. enough to be funny, but not actually necessarily, uh, you know, like CPS worthy. Okay, so you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys uh, continue back to sleep. Do you do you trust? Uh, th- no one got hurt at all. I th- I took two damage, but I've already healed. Yeah, he. Oh, yeah. That's the other thing. His his dam. He. Yeah, that's true. The only one who took so damage see, has you fast see stamina. his flesh. Well, no, no, it's, start, it's, it's fast stamina. Fast. Yeah, yeah, it's fast stamina. So it's not the same idea. It can happen with fast healing, but yeah. Um. I'm going to. But you know what? I'm still okay with but the yeah, fact that I'm still okay with the fact that there were needles for stuck sure. in you. Yeah. And they push out. Unfortunately, yeah. to the ground. Unfortunately, the search parameters for a vault are a lot different than those of the wasteland. So I will say that though. Did you guys hear that? By the way, he um he as he's standing there like with his hands in his pockets, he had two needles, one in the side of his face, one inside of his neck, just stick in there, just little needles, you know. And as he's doing that, just over time, they just and pop out and fall on their own. Anything else beyond any? Ch- oh, cool. You go back to sleep. Or anything else? I'm gonna go to sleep. Do you allow Blue to continue doing watch alone? One failure doesn't necessarily mean that she can't watch, but you know. Linda does not sleep. That is pretty uh, harmless. I had to look at something that was interesting. She wanted uh, to sleep. In fact, he's, he, he picks up the sledgehammer and just like walks away from the group for a little bit. Don't go too far. Okay. One hour. Uh, we're at 114. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. okay. You guys go to sleep? Uh, eventually, eventually, you go back and go to sleep. I imagine. Uh, probably go not. lay down. He'll or just maybe lay down. Room? But I don't. Yeah. You gonna go lay down eventually or no? I don't think you will. No. Okay, so I'm gonna have you do fatigue. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a good, flavorful choice, mm-hmm. but you know, 
So just fatigued for now. Um, you guys continue traveling. Day two. Night two. Everyone roll luck checks again, please. Rashawn already knew what I was going to say next. He goes to grab a die. You alright? Need a massage? Body massage. Go! Wait, I don't give you this. Not for free. 20. Uh, 16. 18. 8. Lowest being 8? It's not so bad. Okay. You go through night 2, no problems at all. Let me know when I, it's actually a day that we're going to be doing stuff so I can roll the door of fortune. Day 3 occurs. Roll store of fortune. <laughs> <laughs> now I can't tell people fuck with me. No, roll your store of fortune. Roll your store of fortune. Day four. I should, be, I should be making you roll it every day. You should be writing it down every day, just in case. But go ahead and do it. Okay. 14? Yeah. Not horrible. Okay. All right. You guys continue along. You're just about halfway to where you think you need to be to get to St. Angle on here. Are we more tired than we would think we would be? What? Right. what? We've, never, we've never traveled like this. Yeah. So we've never not, physically not, yeah, traveled. Yeah, we've never physically traveled like this. It's the first time I was involved. And while yeah. you guys were fed through IV, that's different. You were a bit weaker than you should be, you know, uh, aside from the radiation. They probably feel mentally prepared for the are, baseline. You guys are pretty tired. Yeah, you guys are pretty tired. Your feet hurt, sure. Yeah. You feel your boots. There's no it's real. Just so fell depressing. Off. <laughs> I don't feel anything. So depressing. Oh, my, my, my. She's Man, like, my feet are tired. <laughs> Mine are. <laughs> Dylan's like, it's, hey, it's not so bad. I'm really good at exercise. My glutes are feeling tight. Mine are. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear my chemical romance softly in the background. I can't be around him right now. <laughs> this is depressing. Everyone make perception checks. Speaking of which, we're going to emo night again. Oh, and by the way, if you want to come out, get some uh, character. Uh, when are you guys going? Huh? Okay. When are you guys going? Uh, I think it's January 12th. Okay, that was fun. I'll go to the next one. Yeah. Thank you. 16. So I'll sing some All American Rejects at the top of my list. 15. Oh, good time, right? That was fun. Uh, initiative? No, oh, perception. Not for <clears throat> There's a sky. <laughs> uh, by the way, it also isn't. You may recall that the last time you guys were in the simulation, it was hot this summer. Mm -hmm. It's more near the beginning of fall here. Oh, shit. So, it's, so it's, it's, no, you're fine. It's just no, not super eventually. hot. Yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's still, it's still a relatively desert based wasteland. Um, Highland scrub. So we're going to call it, you know, 82 degrees, but that's not hot. Like it was nearing a hundred, yeah. you know, or over hundred. So it's hard not to be bingy and make cracks about anything. But that, that still lies in there. Like, you, you you know, some of your old personalities may come out. Some You guys can all figure that out yourselves. How right. You, so I'm trying doing. to differentiate. Yeah. Wherever you are, that's up to you. Not in my head. I'm making all the jokes I want. Making stuff. Oh, by the way, that, that perception check can also be a survival check for those of you who would like to instead have it be that. Sure. So what are our totals? It's the same. Same exact thing. Same. <laughs> it's perception or survival? Your choice. If you don't have do you perks, have they're, they're both perception. they're both perception based. 19. If you don't have perks, they're the same. <laughs> he looks yeah. So 19, yeah, he's like <laughs> Sixteen. Fifteen. Four. Okay. Heart. You three notice club. So it's funny. You're looking at the sky, but not even the right part of the sky. That's how bad you it's are. It's a big ass here. You guys notice in the distance behind you a rad storm forming up. That's not good. I'm looking at the giant. By the distance, cowboy. I mean like less than a mile away. We need to move. Like now, you do. we're. <laughs> Where is the nearest shelter? That's, sorry, His that was very loud, probably on the mic, but that. <laughs> sorry, that was great. If I did, if you didn't already have a cap, I'd give you one. You're good. I can have two caps. No, you Where's, can't. Where is shelter? Can we make such a shelter to find a shelter? Sure. Linda won't look. Five. Okay, you need to get your shit together. This will be a different role because active. Even though you don't care if you die, I care if I die, 17. and I need you to well, help you me. Well, you just can't roll in combat. Die. Yeah. Wow. At least 17? until we save everybody, and then you can figure out what the hell you're doing. I don't want to save. You don't want to save. Okay. Five. Are you rolling shitty again? Yep. Five. He's not looking. Not looking. He's staring at the rad storm. Okay. <laughs> He's I like, like this. We're all right, we're Free came on Pandora today, and I thought of you. Thanks. I think. Because you always do impersonations. Yeah. Because of okay. the Lord. Because of. <laughs> Uh, also, one more roll. Sorry, guys. Whoever wants to can make a culture check here. I'm all about the culture. There's your one. I don't care what it is. There we go. Your box anymore. 
You know it because it is your. Is a man in box getting old for you? Okay. You will use. I don't know what to say right now. Where's five again? What happened to you? Let everyone in it. Your dice box. He is showing no mercy. He's sweeping the lake. (laughs) And giggles. Uh, Culture. So she dies. That's a six. (laughs) She dies. Six. Find an opportunity. You're the only one that got this. Um, As you guys are as you guys are continuing on, you're looking around for uh, for cover. You do see who who got the high percent? You found him on it. You two. So, Dylan and Get Walter. Box, bro. <laughs> Dylan and Walter. Yes. yes. You guys see in the distance. <clears throat> about a mile away. A little under a mile away. It's a flat, you know, landscape, so you can see it. Uh, a little two caves in the distance, and, and some, you know, you know, they're hills, so two caves in the hillside. Okay. You two see this. At the same time that you're you're looking back, this actually works out really well because you're the one who made the culture check too. You're looking back at the storm. You see funnels start to form, and you've heard of what are called rad twisters, mm-hmm. which are extremely dangerous to most, and no one really survives interacting with them. As even as even before sucking you up and taking you away and tossing you into the distance, they all often kill people through simple proximity due to their highly radiated cores. Now, what that means for you is they're still a notable danger to you, even despite they your physically hurt me. Right. So there you go. Okay, we need to move that way. Well, and then do you see, because they don't, because yeah. I like it, because they, they're looking for the cave. They don't see behind them that these uh, funnels are starting to form. You uh, you might want to hurry, because there's a uh, tornado in that rad storm. And right. you guys look back, and you see, as, as he says that, one of the one of the funnels rapidly touches down on the ground and starts getting bigger. How quickly is this moving? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I, I, literally jump in the rad blue, storm. I literally jump into Blue's arms. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Like, really? You, you jump in your robot's you arms and say go? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, so da- just, like daintily? Or like, what are you doing? <laughs> no, like, literally. Like, you, uh, like, wrapped her around. No, like, she, I'll just walk up, I'll just run up to her. Engage! <laughs> and she just catches him and just starts going. <laughs> <laughs> How far apart are the kids? It's, hey. Just run, man. <laughs> 30, Why? 40, 50 feet from each other. From this, isn't hard to tell. Also, actually, actually, actually I run slower than you guys, so no. We're running in that direction. <laughs> Alright, so what are our speeds? I, I, whatever, I'm going to jump on the robot with him. What do we got? Awesome. 20, like five, five minutes or something? Seven. Oh, this works out well. Uh, do me a favor and put on Wasteland Tornado. I don't like that. It starts with a different word, though. Uh, is it on the Wasteland one? Yeah, it's under Wasteland. It starts with... Uh, oh, yeah. You got it? Okay. Don't look. It said, Stop looking. It's a sound effect. Also, the fact <laughs> that... No, but it's labeled with the, something the that The Wasteland out. label is kind of awesome. So. Yeah, that's true. It's hard not to all right, so you guys, you guys head towards. You guys start running towards. Yes. Full, full tilt, run action, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Speed. Twenty. Of her. Of her. Yep. Cool. Twenty only. Yep. But she ignores difficult terrain. So. That's that's what I was gonna say. Is that's pretty good. Twenty five. Okay. Thirty. And you, do you ignore any difficult terrain? I do not. We talked about that. No, you didn't take this. Okay. And then yourself. Speed. Human speed. 30, thirty. Thirty. Okay. So thirty, thirty, twenty five, twenty. Which I'm just gonna go ahead and put up to thirty because of the ignoring difficult terrain. So that means you're gonna be at fifteen. Essentially. What? Why? Well, because you're slower and you don't ignore difficult terrain. I'm stronger. I'm stronger. I can run harder. <laughs> and if you run on your foot and you're punching the ground as you walk, she's punching the ground with her legs. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. Thank you. Ah. Pushing, you guys, the, earth, pushing you guys, the earth backwards. You guys run along quickly. You three. You, you three. Uh, you two gain ground easily on the other two. But then as you get to like some rubble and things like that, you have to jump over, climb over real quick to get there, or go around it, which slows you down. She just rolls right over some of the stuff. She starts to lag behind a little bit. If if she drops behind me, I'll just grab her and throw her on my shoulder. So she definitely drops behind you. You're going to run back and get her? Well, at, as I'm passing her, I will literally scoop her up with her mouth. Okay, will you resist? Oh, shit. Let's, let's, he's, let's he's, have some fun. You're going to go for it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, What's your armor bulk? Uh... It's two. Okay, and then what's your weapon bolt? Two. So you're at four. Yeah. And then your the rest of your supplies all together don't even equal one bolt. Okay. So it's only four. Yeah, because it's only four bolts. So he can definitely. So he runs by, just How hooks you under your human body. Well, that's what I was gonna say. That, that's what I was gonna say is that her her, the, her person is probably another three bolt. We're really talking about. How that's harsh, man. Don't forget I mean, that bulk has as much to do with no bulk has as much to do with space as weight and things like that. But yeah. The bottom line is he can hold up to 18 bulk alone right now. Without becoming uncomfortable. Without, without, without even becoming uncomfortable. 
So, so he just, so he just goes by and just scoops. It's not. Let's. We're not gonna make. You're not super. Well, you're almost are super human strength. But yeah, you're just able to just, you know, put it around your shoulders and you, and do you just resist or are you just good? No. Okay. So, so it does slow you down a little. Even though you're not encumbered, but you're still gonna be well over a speed she was running. Yeah. That? Okay. So you guys are heading off. You guys run away from the. Uh, two, three, four, five more tornadoes all touch to the ground. Start moving rapidly huh. towards you. Whatever it is, this guy's trying to kill you. One more. Time. It's nice. actually nice try. Seventeen more tornadoes. Wait, it's wait. a method of rolling. No, I'm just kidding. Sixty more tornadoes. Six hundred percent more tornadoes. <laughs> the Earth is a tornado. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fallout in Texas now with six hundred percent more tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we should advertise this stream. Now they do. Brad sharks with guns. They're like street sharks. Nope. Don't radiated, radiated nobody tornado. give them nobody give one, them one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, radiated six, eight, babies, nine, twelve. Make an endurance. 18, make 12, a, a seven, fortitude eight. save, right? Endurance is on. Yeah, make a fortitude save. <laughs> Natural twenty. He just he's good, man. Out. <laughs> you make it as well. He's good. He's not even sweating. Yeah, he's not. Doesn't he's doesn't flag at all. Like, Three. You're old. <laughs> so your your speed towards the end slows by five. <laughs> you gotta re-roll it or anything like that. Did I mention I'm immortal? I take a what? I take a aim and I shoot the tornado. No, you don't. Is this luck based? What? Yes. Luck based. No, not this one. What's the XP for a tornado? It actually worked in Star Wars. Right? So you guys get to about two. You guys get to about two hundred feet away ish from the. Uh, from the cave entrance? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. actually. Thanks, like shot the, what's his name? Mm-hmm. He is about 200 feet away from the, and the, their tornadoes are closing. Uh, he falls back behind. You're already carrying her, but he's, he starts to get, I mean, that makes I'm sense old. too, because you're older. So he starts to, and he's still running, but he's almost like, you know, galloping along at this point, trying to get up there. The tornadoes are catching up. And all of a sudden, simulation games. At the cave, and <laughs> at the at the cave in the distance, you see two muzzle flashes as two people shoot at you. <laughs> as th- with the cave you're running towards, and we'll go ahead and stop there, and we'll see what happens next. Tomato wave. 